Hey, this is Ken from the Pool Posse channel. Today, we're working on a Pentair variable speed pump that has a leaky shaft seal. And of course, when, I, when you open up a pump to change the shaft seal, I just change all the seals. So I, it's on unions, luckily, so I can pull it off. But here's a look at the bolts that have to be taken off. These six on each side remove the back seal plate from the pump itself. And then these four remove the pump from the seal plate. What I use to get those off, if you have a leak, you got a WD-40, these four right here, before you start trying to get them off because they get calcified and stuck real, real hard. Then if you got a drive in the way, you got to get an open-ended wrench on it to get these to loosen up. For the other ones, or if it's just a single speed pump, I prefer to use my impact driver with the swivel head for motors. So I can put it right on there and swivel it any way I want and back it right out. Also, regular socket will work too. So I'll take all these bolts off and then we'll come back. Okay, I got all the bolts off and some of them are in pretty bad shape. The ones that hold the motor in are taking the brunt of the leak. The ones that are hold the, holding the, the pump plates, seal plates together are usually okay. But I take a, a, a small wire brush, toothbrush, and I get in those grooves real good and get those cleaned out so I can put them back in. And if you strip one, you gotta just replace it. You can see how that gets it pretty clean. I'm not going to make you watch all that. I'll do that off. And then if you come over here, you can now pull this apart. You can get the pump and the stand out of your way. You can put it underneath my, my heater cabinet. Every fool guy needs a Pentair heater cabinet as a workbench. This is the diffuser. This is the diffuser O-ring, which we're replacing. This is the main seal gasket, which we are replacing. And the shaft seal is deep inside, but first we gotta use a five 30 seconds inch Allen wrench to expose the impeller. All right, got the diffuser off. Just these little bolts here. This looks like it's in still really good condition. I'm going to set this off to the side. And here's our impeller. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, but now we got to remove this uh, fan protector. Here, which I already took off one screw. Here's a one screw, two screws, three screws. And then you expose the fan that keeps the, the motor cool. We'll set that aside. You want to get a look at that. The fan and the impeller turn together. I don't know if you can see them. So this is a quarter inch Allen wrench. It goes right there, and then you can twist this around. If you come over here, you can get the angle of the Allen wrench a little better. I like to post it right on the ground, hang on to it, and then come back over here. And you can just spin that impeller off. There we go. Also, very important to remember, there is a reverse threaded stainless steel screw right there holding it in. So let's see, reverse threaded. I'm loosening by going to the right. There's that, that screw. There's a gasket for it, still stayed in the impeller there. And we'll just leave it there. I'll screw it the rest of the way off. And there's half of our shaft seal. The ceramic piece is right there. 
and sometimes these guys get stuck. A lot of calcium buildup in there. There's the other half, and it looks pretty flat. Definitely broken. I'm gonna poke it out of there and see what it looks like in a minute, but I'm gonna get rid of some of this calcium and get this cleaned up and then come back. Okay, here we go. I got it cleaned up pretty nice. The chef seal is in here and there. I take a giant screwdriver. Put it right in there. Bang it with a hammer. There it goes. So there's one half of it. The other half is in the impeller here, which you need kind of a sharp but small flathead screwdriver. And just go around and pry this rubber part. until you, you get it to come out. All right. Okay, so I got this guy out of there. It wasn't easy, but you can see how these work. This goes in here, this goes in here. And then when they come together inside the pump and motor, they create a seal like that. And they go together as one. But when you're installing the ceramic part into the impeller, you gotta be careful not to get any dirt or debris or even touch it because a fingerprint can make it leak a little bit and then the leak will increase over time and you'll be doing this again. So let's get the new seal going. Here's the one that goes into the seal plate. You can see where this one probably went bad. Best way to do this is to get some silicone down in this groove here. Place the seal in. What's this? A uh, three-quarter inch, maybe a one inch. I don't know. I can't see. I think it's a three-quarter inch coupling. Goes right over the top of that and push it right down into place. And you can see that's perfect. Now, the tricky part. I'm always afraid I'm going to touch that thing and end up doing this again. Changing shaft seals is not the funnest job in the world, but it has to be done. So I use these latex gloves to deal with the ceramic piece. I use a uh, little lubricant on the rubber part. I like to use magic lube. Just get a little lube going on that rubber piece. So it'll slide down in there nice. Set it in. Half inch coupling. I'm positive of this one. Push it right down in there. Right on the rubber part. There you go. So, now we're ready to put it back together. Okay, sorry. I, 
I had my sizes wrong. This is a one inch coupling I used to get that piece into the back seal plate and three quarter inch coupling to get the ceramic part into the impeller. Sorry about that. Chef seal for a Pentair variable speed pump, and I think all Pentair pumps is the PS1000. I prefer to use the uh, the black main seal gasket just because it's a little thicker and it stays in there a little better. And the diffuser O-ring. This goes right there. No sense in opening up a pump and changing the shaft seal and not changing all the seals. That's it. That is how you replace all the seals in a Pentair variable speed pump. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken from the Pool Posse channel. Hope this helps.